Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Sassy and today I'll be showing you how to beat the Easter egg, how to build the shield, and how to get Perkaholic in the Black Ops 3 Custom Zombies map, Super Mario 64. First thing you may want to do is turn on power. In order to turn on power, you'll first need to open up the door to the basement. To do that, you'll need to shoot the eight booths around the map. One of them is right above the basement key door. One is by the door that leads to the outside garden. And there are six booths in that outside garden. One is on the top of the castle. One is by the gopher toy. One is on the castle wall opposite that boo. Then there are two on the side by Speed Cola. And then there is one in the grass near the door. Once you shoot all eight boos, the boo key will appear in the fountain. Pick it up to open up the basement. Head into the basement and follow the hall until you get to the room with the two doors. Take the one on the right and you'll find power at the top of the stairs. While you're down here in the power room, I recommend you drain the moat. To drain the moat, jump in the water to be transported to the other side of the room. Once there, jump on the right platform until it lowers down, and then jump on the one on the left. Lowering both platforms will remove the water from the room, as well as the water in the moat. In order to beat the Easter egg and escape, you'll need to fill all the soul boxes on the map and defeat the two Bowser boss fights. To unlock the first Bowser boss fight, you'll need to fill all the souls in the main area of the castle. One soul box is in the Babam Battlefield room with double tap, one is in the Cool Cool Mountain room with Widow's Wine. One is in the Womp's Fortress room with the Mystery Box. And one is in Jolly Roger's Bay with Tacticula. Fill all four soul boxes and the star door at the top of the stairs in the main area will open. Going into the star door will teleport you to the mini boss fight, so before you do that you may want to get Jug. After about six rounds, a green pipe will appear at spawn. Interact with the pipe to be transported to the AFK room. Jug can be found in the room straight ahead. There are also some guns in that room that you can buy, like the RCP-90 from 007. Whenever you're ready for the first boss fight, head through the first Bowser door. Go to the end of the hall and interact to be transported to your first boss fight. This is also where Pack-a-Punch is. Bowser will spawn in. Defeat him and a key will drop. Pick it up to open up another key door. Once the peach painting appears, jump inside to be transported back to the castle. The key door in the main area of the castle will now be open. Head up the stairs and find two more rooms with soul boxes that you'll need to fill. One is in the big Goomba picture room with Mule Kick, and one is in the mirror room with Jug. Fill both soul boxes and another star door will open. This one is found up the stairs on this floor. Entering the room up top, you'll see a platform leading to inside the clock. Walking into the clock will teleport you to Peach's secret slide where you'll need to race. Get first place for 5,000 points. Finish the race and then jump into the painting to return to the room with the clock. There is one soul box you'll need to fill in that room to open up the star door. Do so and then head to the top for the final boss fight. Whenever you're ready, interact with the hole in the floor to head to that final boss fight. You'll need to defeat Bowser inside as well as fill the soul box here. Do that and you'll now be able to escape. Whenever you're ready to end the game and have 100,000 points, head back to the basement where you drain the moat and interact with the door to escape. There are a few more soul boxes that you can fill in the basement. One is right by Lethal Lava Land, and one is in the room with Deadshot. All this does though is open up the star door in the Muscle Milk Room and only contains Flopper inside. While you play, you may want to build the shield, so here's how to do that. In order to build the shield, you'll need to find three parts. The Game Box, the Game Cartridge, and the N64. The Game Box is found in the first floor of the castle, either in the Babam Room behind Double Tap, in the room with Widow's Wine, in the Jolly Roger Bay Room behind Tacticula, or in the room with Womp's Fortress. The game cartridge is found in the basement, either in the room with power, at the dead end near Lethal Lava Land, or by the stairs in the room with Muscle Milk. And the N64 is found on the second floor of the castle, either in the castle room with Jug, this is not the AFK Jug room, in the room with Mule Kick, or right next to the ICU perk. Once you have all three parts, you can build the shield at the build table next to the spider painting. You can also upgrade the shield. Drain the moat, go to this timestamp if you need, and then head outside and down into the moat to find a door that you can buy for 5,000 points. Buy it and then place your shield into the fire to upgrade it. And you can also get Perkaholic by collecting all five toys and placing them in the castle room with Chug. Monty Mole is in the backyard garden with the booze. Mips is in the basement in front of Electric Cherry. Swoop the Bat is through the basement star door in the room with Deadshot. Dory is in the moat by the water. If you don't know how to drain the moat, again, go to this timestamp. And the Penguin is found in the room leading to the final boss fight. Place all five toys on their pedestal in the jug room and you'll be rewarded with Perkaholic. 
And that's it. I'll be doing more Easter egg guides in the future, so subscribe if you're interested. Leave me a comment if you have any questions, and don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.